so you know that one meme format that's like Sega telling the music team you don't have to go too hard it's just a silly game about a blue hedgehog uh, and then they make the Sonic Frontiers OST um, that's how I feel right now about the Idol Master Cinderella Girls uh, U149 which is the new anime uh, that's going to be added to the Idol Master Cinderella Girls or just Idol Master in general uh, anime series catalog it's one of two uh, airing this year for the, the franchise, which is uh, a pretty big deal, uh, considering that the last animated thing uh, we've gotten from the Idolmaster franchise, discounting like some of the, the music videos like Voyager, was back in like 2016 maybe? 2015-2016, which was the original Cinderella Girls uh, anime, which ran for uh, two one-core series. Uh, each so there was uh part one and part two each were one core uh which was relatively or at the at the very least comparatively disappointing to what we had originally seen with auto master uh 2011 um uh, which was more of like the original like gen one characters based off the games whereas cinderella girls was based off the mobile game which uh had taken off around the time um this one right now, Cinderella Girls U149, is based... It's like a spin-off from Cinderella Girls. Because uh, at this point, the the Cinderella Girls phone game has sort of garnered uh, a massive... Not, well, maybe comparatively a massive... Or com comparatively not as massive to something like uh, some of the other uh, mobile games around. Uh, but like a pretty sizable catalog of characters within the, the roster. And this, this series is a attempting to tell like a little side story about some of the characters who are under 149 centimeters tall um hence the title u149 uh uh essentially like the the lowly characters i guess which uh, i was surprised even exists to be completely honest with you uh since it's pretty overtly pandering to a specific demographic of uh cinderella girls fans um but regardless uh, I didn't have as high hopes for this one. Uh, I was just happy to see that there was new Idol Master content coming around, considering um, we haven't gotten anything since Cinderella Girls. The franchise has sort of uh, went dormant, and it, it's just been uh, uh, mostly like uh, phone game adaptations. Uh, Love Live, Love Live went through a dark period. Love Live is currently experiencing a renaissance, and I think that's kind of what's happening now. And I could say that confidently, almost confidently, after watching the first episode of this, uh, U149. And the reason I say that is because uh, Love Live uh, Nijigasaki was pretty good. Though, I think the production quality of Nijigasaki went so fucking hard. Uh, the CGI in that is probably some of the, in, like, just the music sequences and music videos in, in general for Nijigasaki uh, were probably some of the best I've seen in anime uh, bar none, um, like, those were actual professional music video quality, uh, sequences slotted into each episode, and, like, for example, the first season of Nijikasaki had, like, a music video every single episode, and it was insane, considering the quality, uh, and it put pretty much any other CGI, uh, dance sequence in anime, or just in anything in general, to shame, uh, we're talking, like, Hatsune Miku quality, uh, but regardless, that's that's kind of besides the point. Uh, I I, I want to equate U149 more similar to uh, Love Live Superstar, which was one of two uh, Love Live uh, properties coming out, and I think that's kind of what uh, Bandai is doing with Idol Master right now, because uh, we got this one U149, which is more so the Superstar, and then later on uh, in the year we're gonna have the uh, anime series for Idol Masters. Uh, shiny colors which is uh, another phone game that's sort of meant to replace cinderella stage I, I or cinderella girls i think but they sort of exist simultaneously in harmony um cinderella girls being the one that's been running the longest Cinder uh super shiny colors uh is a little bit newer um but u149 reminds me much more of superstar at least based off the fir their first respective uh uh, premiered episodes. I said that weird. At, at least based off their respective first episodes. 
uh, in terms of like how they're presenting themselves, which is less so an idol show and more so like an actual uh, character drama, I guess. Uh, because Nishigasaki was much more an idol show and it, it was came through through the production value of the show, which was incredibly high. It, the music was fantastic and the music videos were fantastic. Whereas Superstar established the first episode primarily through introducing the main character, um, who I have an acrylic stand of right here on my desk, because uh, that's how much I enjoyed Superstar. It's easily almost as good as I Love Live Season 2 from the original, but I digress. The point is, is that they're establishing themselves more by showing you who the characters are as opposed to like, let's just show you music. And it's it's making it a little bit more accessible and I think makes it a, a better show overall because shows that attempt to simply just pander to the mobile game consumer aren't really that interesting to me. And ones that are just straight idol shit are not that interesting either because at the end of the day they are a television show and they need to tell some sort of story. Nijigasaki was sort of a, a victim to that because while it was a pretty decent show... I didn't feel a strong connection to the characters like how I did with Superstar. And Superstar achieved that in 20 minutes. Uh, whereas uh, Nijigasaki, I probably couldn't tell you much of what happened in the show. It was mostly just sort of like rehashing what the, like Love Life has been known to do since like the original. More, more so, It's more so like an improvement upon Sunshine, if anything. Um, it, where Superstar wasn't. But enough about Love Live. I, I want to talk about the first episode of this one. So I, I didn't have exceptionally high expectations for this show. Uh, considering that U149 was a spin-off and it seemed like a pretty niche, uh, unapologetic fetish anime. As opposed to Shiny Colors, which I assume would be the, uh, I guess like the, the, the franchise's new, uh, what's the word? Like their new flagship series, I guess. Like, they're trying to say, like, hey, we're going to celebrate everything cool about Shiny Colors. But then I watched the PV for Shiny Colors, and it had CG, and it looked terrible. Like, I I did not expect it to actually be that bad kind of terrible, considering the amount... Uh, considering the track record for Idolmaster in general, like, Idolmaster 2011 was... One of the best animated uh, ser anime series of that year, of 2011. Uh, and it had full 2D animated uh, live performances, which are spectacular. If you have not seen uh, Idolmaster 2011, you should probably check it out. Or at the very least, go to like Sakugaboru and look at some of the, the animated sequences, because they look fantastic. Cinderella Girls s s followed similarly with having pretty high production value within the show. Maybe not as impressive as 2011. Uh simply by virtue of 2011 coming first and many years before. Uh, but it was still good. The quality of the show wasn't as good. It was more like uh, like a Love Live uh, Nijigasaki or Love Live Sunshine. I'd say it's more like Sunshine, honestly. Uh, both of those shows I'm not too hot on, even though Cinderella Girls is the generation and like the... I guess they're like a generation... I guess it's it's like the branch that I'm most interested in and most invested in. Uh, I didn't like the anime as much, even though it had some of my favorite characters in it. Uh, though there was there was some good there was some good redeeming aspects to it, but it just wasn't as impressive as 2011 was. And based off what I've seen in just one episode, this is prematurely. I'm, I'm hyping it up right now. I'm really excited that I had to make a video about this. Uh, just basically gushing about U149. Like, the first episode blew me away. And that brings us back to the first, uh, like, my opening line. It's like, it, this is just this is just an anime pandering to, to Lolicons and Cinderella Girls hardcore, the most hardcore Cinderella Girls fans, you don't have to go too hard. And they did. Like, based off what I can tell right now, the, the video quality that was from TV Tokyo, so it's a TV rip, which is usually pretty poor quality. Um, but based off what I've seen, at, at the very least, the the little ending sequence was a mute, little 100 and... or not 100, but like a 1 minute 30 second uh, little music video at the end. 
uh, completely 2D animated, maybe CG assisted, but regardless, uh, it looks 2D as opposed to the overtly uh, CG from the uh, from shiny colors, which I want to mention right now. The shiny colors PV looked terrible. I, I really hope that's not the final version because at the very least, like if you look up the uh, like music videos from Idolmaster Cinderella Girls, the phone game, the gosh darn phone game, uh, and you look at some of those, like the music videos are phenomenal. Like not just in terms of like how the, how they're put together and uh, uh, like the directing of it, but like the animation is pretty solid considering it's a phone game. Uh, but you know, but that's besides the point. The point is here, Jesus Christ. Um, some some noise happening in the background. But regardless, I want to say that U149 sort of blew me away. It introduced it, the series on like a small scale, which is how, generally how these types of series start off. But it reminded me much more of Superstar, like I said, with just one character. That being the titular, or not titular, but like that being Tachibana Arisu, the character in the middle right there. Um, and it's establishing itself as more of a character drama. It's a fairly small cast. It's, fa it's, it's a contained story. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine girls. Uh, which I guess is pretty standard for these idol type of shows, um, but at the very least, like it's 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 it seems like it's fairly contained. It has a lot of heart. The animation is good. There's some genuinely good cuts of uh, within this show. The directing is pretty solid. There were some moments where like I didn't expect them to do certain certain like certain shots the way they did, but it like it sort of came together naturally uh, and less as like. It's not like we're doing this like bog standard. We're just doing uh, A B A B kind of things with characters talking. Um, we're we're not doing it by the numbers. We're we're actually gonna put some care into this show. Uh, but otherwise, I have nothing but good things to say about this show. If I could rate the first episode, it would be like nine out of ten. Uh, but, like, I'm prematurely hyping myself up right now. Maybe it's just because the, the excitement of watching the first episode right now uh, and seeing some characters I really enjoy from uh, from Cinderella Girls. Uh, and, and I'm sure people who play the game would be a little bit more invested than I am because uh, I think it's worth mentioning that I'm not a Cinderella Girls, a Dediste... Dediste? Dediste stage? I forgot the the abbreviation, but I'm not I'm not a player of the game. Uh, I I don't play any mobile games at all. I hate mobile games. I, I've given Idol Master Cinderella Girls uh, a decent shot a couple times. I've tried it, and despite being a big fan of the C Cinderella Girls franchise and rhythm games in general, uh, I couldn't really get into it. I just find the games sort of obtuse, time consuming, and like I I I, I fail to get invested in them, just because there's so much that I have to dedicate to, like. It's not something that I could pick up and play once or twice. It's something that I have to literally play every day. And then that's kind of where the fun is taken out for me. But regardless, I'm sure, like, if you're a fan of Cinderella Girls or just Idolmaster in general, you're watching the show and you know how good the first episode was. Um, at, at the very least, I thought the first episode was fantastic. Uh, and I'm extremely, extremely happy and looking forward uh, immensely to next week's episode. And that's not something that I could say about an anime that's came out recently. This is one of the first anime in a long time uh, that I'm going to be there sitting on Nya.si spamming F5 when I get home from work so I can watch the episode. Because um, this one sort of... It, it, it flew under my radar. It was there. I knew it was going to come out and I knew I was going to watch it probably weekly. But I did not expect it to go this hard. Uh... Keep it, keep it up, uh, U149 team. Uh, I am looking forward to what you're going to be doing next. And actually, right before I go, right before I go, I just want to mention uh, U149 under 17. You know, uh, there, there's definitely a correlation there. Uh, I, I, I probably could have prepared a joke for that. Like everybody under 17, but nobody, uh, nobody U149. But, you know, whatever. 
this is this is anime of the season for me so far.